Hi and welcome to the second iPhone programming tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to learn how to build a simple application like this. There's going to be two labels and a text field and a button. When I press the button this label is going to display my name. To do this we're going to just close this project, start a new project we're going to select the view based application, press choose I'm going to name mine tutorial 2 and press save expand this and we're going to focus on the classes folder and resources folder well as you see there are two classes declared in here the app delegate class and the view controller class well, each of them is described by two files, an H file and an M file. In the H files, uh, we declare which objects we're going to use inside uh, the class, and the M file is uh, for writing the actual code, what each object does inside here, and what's going to happen inside this class. Uh, as I explained in the last tutorial, uh, with the main view, main window uh, acting as a container to other view controllers and initiating the this view controller when uh, it's go when the application is started up, the same situation is in here. Um, when the application is started up, uh, the app delegate class is initiated. In the app delegate class, initiate our view controller class. So we're going to edit this one. Uh, now we're going to think about what objects we're going to declare inside this class so uh, we need to think about uh, which of these objects that were inside the application I just showed uh, are, are going to require uh, some code writing as we remember uh, there was a label which displayed the name uh, and there was a text field which uh, which was used to uh, enter the name and there was a button which initiated some action so now we're going to declare the label which stored the name we're going to name it name label and another object the text field well what I just did in here I wrote uh, an IB outlet for each of these files that are going to be used inside uh, our class. Uh, the first of the outlet is the IB outlet and the name of the, ob the, name of the object and our name of the object. <laughs> well this may, this may sound a bit funny and each of the outlets in here requires a property heading. Oops. Property, routine, not atomic, UI label, uh, not label, text field, text field. Well, uh, as I explained, each outlet needs a property, uh, property heading, and what's the property heading consisted 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 of? Well, the first is the object's attributes. Uh, the retain and non-atomic uh, attributes are going to, ma to be mainly used by you and uh, practically speaking it just tells Xcode uh, not to release the object unless we tell it to do so. Next is, is, is as the IB outlet says. The object and the name of the object. The same situation is with uh, the text field. Now some of you may ask why didn't we write an IB outlet for uh, the other label because there was another label in there because we're not going to be use uh, we're not going to be using this object inside our code and it's just going to be there the same situation as in the hello world application we just dragged and dropped uh, the label to store some text and we didn't touch it and now we need to declare what action is going to be initiated when our button is going to be uh, is going to be pressed. Uh, 